Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a timeless love reading. This is for anybody who stumbles across this reading. If you click on it, there may be a message here for you. Some of it may not be for you, so if it doesn't resonate, just leave it behind, okay? It's somebody else's message. So this is, what does your person not want you to know? What is it that they're hiding from you? Okay, your love interest, your person. Maybe even your ex, if that's important to you. Okay, what are they hiding? What is your love interest hiding from you? And what do you need to know? What do they not want you to know? Yeah, this person doesn't want you to know they have a lot of regrets and some remorse. Uh, they're trapped in their head. Is this an eight or a nine? Oh, it's an eight. Yeah, this person's definitely can't stop thinking about you. Okay, yeah. I do feel like they have some kind of regrets here. Yeah, with that card. Yeah, they, they regret hurting you. They can't stop thinking about what happened, how they hurt you. Okay. Yeah, they're, they would like to heal this. They're two steps forward and back, though. They don't really know what to do. One minute they want to come forward, the next minute, you know, they're taking a step back. They're just holding back right now. They're... Uh, trying to clear some things up. There may have been a third party, who knows, uh, but they're trying to clear some things up, uh, release a bunch of negative energy, possibly going through some kind of a healing. Yeah, so this person definitely doesn't want you to know um, why they weren't invested in you, okay? They actually were. Uh, this person doesn't want you to know that they have a fear that you were chasing them for money, Okay, because they're very financially stable. So they were afraid of that. That's why they were two steps forward and back. They felt you were chasing after them for money because they're fairly well off. So yeah, I feel like this person definitely was sitting on the fence trying to choose a path. They were trying to figure out how to approach this with you. And I feel they were just two steps forward and back. So I feel like they're holding back. All right, because they have this fear. Yeah, they do want everything exposed, all right? They do want things, they do want to clear things up with you. They are holding on to you. They don't want to let go. But one thing I'll tell you is this person holds on to their money. Uh, they are probably a little selfish, possibly a little greedy, but I feel like they're holding on to you. They're watching you possibly from a distance. They haven't been able to let you go. I feel like... Uh, something has become very clear that you um, you did you stopped investing in this person because you didn't feel safe. So now they realize it's very clear. They would like to have this new beginning. They realize that uh, you were not possibly chasing them for money, but they had that fear. Uh, they couldn't get it out of their head. What does your person not want you to know? What does your love interest not want you to know? What are they hiding? Yeah, they're, they got some things in their past they're hiding, but I'll tell you, this person's very sweet. They do want a reconciliation. They think you're adorable. Uh, they miss you. Uh, they're watching you from a distance. They have not let you go. So I feel like they possibly made a bad choice. They may have had a choice between you and someone else. And yeah, I feel like they feel really bad. They definitely hurt you, but they have this fear that you were chasing them for money, okay? That you were coming after them for money, but they weren't invested, you know? This person wasn't very invested because of that. Wow. All right, so. Let's clarify. Just digesting this a little bit. Um, wow. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person, yeah, things ended. This person hasn't stopped thinking about you. This, whatever happened has changed this person. Uh, if they could change this and transform it, they would. Uh, they do feel pretty bad. I can tell you that. So tell me about this. They'd like to heal this. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords, yeah. So I feel like this person definitely would like to try and put an end to this and come back. If they could change this, they would. I feel like they have a fear of commitment, too. They're afraid of commitment because they have a lot of money. Uh, they're very financially stable. They feel like everyone's chasing them for money, okay? 
So that's been exposed possibly a few times with other people, right? Yeah, so I feel like the Four of Swords, what's going on with the Four of Swords? Why is this here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Yeah, so things ended very painfully. This person really feels bad. They feel like they stabbed you in the back. They, it This hurt them too, like they feel terrible. They're two steps forward and back and they're trying to heal. They want to heal this. They feel just terrible. If they could take this all back and transform it and start over, they would. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, so this person definitely is trying to temper that, right? They're trying to heal. They're trying to temper their emotions. They know they need to. They know that there's some, you know, a little out of balance here. And Seven of Pentacles is also patience, all right? They know they should have been more patient with you, uh, with this whole situation. They actually feel like you're a very good fit, that you bring a lot of balance towards them. Uh, they realize that now, yeah. They feel like you're perfect, that um, that you're a very good fit, that you could, there's a lot of balance between the two of you. Yeah, they'd like to talk to you. They'd like to take action and come in and, and tell you this and tell you how they feel. Ten of Swords, that's the dogs across the street if you hear them. They got two Chihuahuas and all they do is fight. Alright, we have the Ten of Ten of Swords. Or pardon me, Ten of Pentacles. Why is this here? What is this person hiding? What is it they don't want you to know? <laughs> they don't want you to know they're very wealthy. <laughs> they have a lot of money. They're very financially stable. Does this person not want you to know about that? Yeah, so this person definitely, yeah. So I feel like this person, yeah, they get a lot of attention because they have a lot of money. So, of course, they feel like everyone's chasing them for money. And it is something that they they kind of can't get out of their head. Um, that's why they have a fear of commitment because they don't want to lose everything they've worked for. I feel as though they want to set themselves free from this. Uh, they also have an ego. They're very aware of it. Because of it, they get a lot of attention because of the success. Uh, they don't want you to really know that they want to set themselves free from that. They don't. I mean, it's, you know, seriously, who wants to admit that, right? So I do feel like they're trying to free themselves from um, all this energy. You know, they're trying to make a choice. So tell me about this. They're trying to figure out how to approach this, and I feel like they've been they wanted to approach this all along, and they just couldn't figure out the right way. But they know they need to because they can't let go of you. But they are holding on to their money, like they're this person definitely a little bit greedy because of it. They're you know they, it's not the healthiest energy when somebody is that obsessed with their money and they're holding on to it, right? But they're watching you from a distance. They really are. Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Yeah, they have a lot of regret and remorse, okay, uh, about not approaching you, taking a better approach to the situation. So whatever it is they did, um, they definitely hurt you. So what's going on with the, oh, the sun? Why is the sun here for what they're hiding? What is it they're hiding? Yeah, this person actually, you know, they would like to come in and take the lead and have a new beginning. They are an emperor, apparently, and uh, yeah, they know they need to come in and take the lead if they want a new beginning, but they don't really want you to know about the money, their stature, who they are. Um, so if you have somebody you were dating and you don't know very much about them and it ended very quick, yeah, they could have been this emperor status, but I feel this person definitely has very strong boundaries as well. They kind of, you know, have a huge ego, a bit of arrogance. They really like to have everything their way. So they're quite stubborn and they really were trying to hide that from you. They're aware of it, but man, they can't let go of you. The more they look at the details and the more they look at you, the more the more adorable you get, the more they want you and the more they miss you. So what is this for? 
Have pentacles about. Yeah, this person knows they need to surrender. They need to release all this and put all this behind them if they want to move towards you. They do. They need to just give it up. Yeah, but they're trapped in this energy and they're afraid if they come back that they'll do this again. That it'll be up in their head and they'll repeat this mistake. So they do really know they need to come in. They need to surrender. They need to let go of this and move forward. So what's the Six of Cups? Yeah, this person, they feel like there's no hope. Oh well, yeah, they, they are a little bit insecure because of money and it's not because they don't have any, it's just because they have too much. So that's the problem and they know there's no hope because of this and they feel like they'll just do it again. Like they, they, they can't stop thinking about it so they don't want to repeat this if they come in and they feel like it's kind of hopeless. Um, it's insecurities. So let's see here tell me about the six of cups why is the six of cups here clarity on the six of cups please why is this here for what your person doesn't want you to know yeah they don't really want you to know um, that this has been a wake-up call that they want to heal this and they want to uh, have a reconciliation they possibly have gone through a little bit of an awakening to do with their past their childhood and all of this past energy uh, they want you back uh, they just don't know how to go about it just yet. Yeah, they want to come in and tell the truth. They want to have success with you. They want to clear all of this up. Uh, they really do need to hear the truth from you as well. Uh, they're afraid of being judged because they kind of judged you. Okay, so wow. Tell me about this emperor. Why are they hiding this? Oops. Because they're very indecisive, yeah. So they have a lot of anxiety about it. Yeah, about their money. Yeah, they're they're they they want to rush in, they rush out. They're uh, anxious and impatient to do with their finances, to do with their financial stability. So wow. Yeah, the tower. Oof. Yeah, this person's having an epiphany. They know. Yeah, they are. They definitely have a lot of fear. They're very anxious, very impatient. They want to sort of charge towards you, and then they just kind of back up. They, It's really all about the financial stability. They just don't feel safe and secure when it comes to their money. So, yeah, they're going to have some kind of epiphany. I feel like eventually they will come towards you. I do. I feel like they will move away from this. They want to come towards you and take everything they've learned from this experience and come and make peace with you they feel like there's no hope that you you know that you'll let them come back around that you'll be able to put this behind you like that's their biggest worry uh, because they treated you like you weren't good enough they didn't treat you very good i feel like the way they whatever ended whatever happened wasn't very good they were very stubborn uh, and they were being very selfish so they feel like maybe you won't be able to put this behind you you'll be afraid that they'll repeat it so they're very well, well aware of the situation. So what is it this person is hiding when it comes to, what are they hiding with the, there we go. Yeah, this person's afraid to take a risk and, and commit. They are, they're afraid that you may have gone off and uh, on a new path with somebody else that you actually may be committed. So if they come back towards you, try to transform this, it may be too late and then they're going to be all hurt and you know, it'll end painfully yet again. So this is the thing. This is what's going on in their head. So it's kind of sad, you guys. Oh my gosh. Let's see what spirit has to say. Um, let's grab this deck. What does spirit have to say? Messages from spirit. Guidance, please. Or what is the outcome for the viewers? What their person is hiding from them and what they don't want the viewer to know. Guidance for the viewers, please. Guidance and messages for the viewers, please. Yeah, so miracles can happen, okay? So there is some kind of a miracle here. And I feel like there is a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. In fact, there's two rainbows. Both of you 
if you come together, miracles really could happen, okay? You both see each other as the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And maybe what maybe some of you are very financially stable, and this person doesn't know it. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with miracles. Why is this here? Yeah, so this person's, yeah, they know they need to take a risk. You may need to be the one to take a risk towards them and say something. Um, but I feel like a lot of you, I know how a lot of you are. It's like they need to come to you. They need to come to work, come to you right if this is a, to transform. They need to be the one to uh, speak up and say something. Because I feel like whatever it is they did, it's something they need to deal with. And I do feel like they want to. Uh, they're having some kind of epiphany, like they're realizing something, that they're just anxious and patient, they're indecisive, and because of that, they're just kind of a control freak. They really feel like they need to be in control, and they do want to express this and let you know this, like they're just, they don't want you to know, but they know that it will be exposed, uh, that they're very, very controlling and domineering. <laughs> And quite, they may have anxieties because of their finances. They may be very anxious all the time about their finances. So, yeah, they have a fear that you'll find out and then move away to avoid a disaster. So they're kind of, that's what they did. They kind of felt, you know, they had this epiphany. They should just move away. Um, yeah, but they do, they so do want to come in and reconcile. Uh, they want this so bad. And uh, they're really trying to make this decision about telling you the whole truth. So let's see what's going on. Some of these people, it's flipped. They, they don't have a lot of money and they feel insecure that they're not financially stable. Maybe they told you they had more money than they did. It could go the other way, right? They may regret that. They chose the wrong path to approach you, okay, as well. Um, I feel like they're trying, they, I feel like they have a lot of regrets. So, yeah, they need to speak the truth. Um, that's what Spirit says. This person will eventually come in and speak the truth, but it's kind of blowing in the wind right now, but it's all kind of going in one direction. Just give it a little bit of time, okay? Let these clouds dissipate. Let this person uh, kind of clear their energy. What else does Spirit have to say about why this person is hiding? What they're hiding? What does Spirit have to say? Yeah, this person needs to gain the strength and the courage. They actually have it, but they're afraid of conflict, okay? They're not, this person may not be the bravest person when it comes to conflict. Uh, they may have a very soft side. They could be quite sensitive in a lot of ways, even though they have this very domineering my way or the highway side, like, you know, but that's something that they know will be exposed, and that's another reason why they, yeah, wow. Yeah, that doesn't mean they're a tyrant, but, you know, you've got someone who's very indecisive. They rush in, rush out, so they really have to keep themselves in control. Um, you know, maybe relationships they find difficult because of that. Um, yeah, interesting. This person's kind of riding the wave, okay? Um, Spirit's saying that they really just need to ride the wave and have enjoy the happy times when it's happy. You know, there's going to always be highs and lows, but they need to be more playful. They need to bring out their lighter side. So, yeah, this person definitely um, does their due diligence, most definitely. I feel like they're watching you <laughs> from a distance. They're really focused on you, and they're trying to find out everything they can. I do feel like they will come towards you at some point. It may take this person a while for some of you. It all depends. They're, everyone's on a different path. So, yeah, this person definitely wants to move forward. They want to come towards you. They want to come forward and express this. They are coming. I feel like they are. Uh, there's something here. They do feel like you're such a good fit. Like they really do want to invest in this and they feel badly for not being more patient, for being more invested in you. But this person really did feel that uh, they get a lot of attention because they have money. A lot of them do have money or they act like they have money, right? I feel like most of them actually do. And they're very much afraid that you were chasing them for money. Uh, they may have had a choice between two people at one point too. Uh, they didn't know who to choose at first. 
okay but I actually feel like they think you're a very good fit they really like that physical connection with you um, they do want to take this action and come and talk to you and offer you this cup so wow so they may actually offer you this cup they may actually ask if you want to go out and talk meet somewhere maybe you'll take a walk in the woods and talk so this person's definitely well yeah they would like to hold you i see that down here and hug you and if they do they'll never let you go but i feel like this person if they come towards you you need to embrace this peace okay and just sort of be still and to let this person do the talking all right just if you want them back if you don't and you're that hurt and you feel very like oh my god i can't believe they thought that you know if you're really offended you may not want that you may just might decide to just cut this person out period okay so it's possible one more card and we'll wrap it up all right what else does spirit have to say about why your person is hiding what they're hiding what they don't want you to know what the spirit have to say about it messages and guidance from spirit yeah this person just leave this person alone for a while leave them in solitude let them think things out uh, they need a little peace and quiet right now and one thing this person this person does need peace they need a lot of quiet i feel they probably work a lot if they're an emperor and they have a lot of money they may actually be very very busy and they are i feel like they are kind of rushing in a lot of directions uh, they probably have anxiety sometimes so they need peace and quiet and solitude so it's basically saying to just leave them alone let them work through this process let them go through this awakening uh, so they can come in and speak their truth and i feel if you do that you may have success so just leave this person be uh, they're going through their thing <laughs> okay they they know they need to surrender but they're a little worried that you've given up on them if they come in and they tell you with everything that's happened you'll more than likely uh, have given up and they can't stop thinking about it so yeah they definitely they definitely miss you they feel very much alone and left out in the cold i feel they feel bad about leaving you out in the cold because i feel like they did they kind of ghosted you or something they just possibly some of them may have just disappeared now whether this person is rich or not i feel like money is definitely the issue okay they should have been more patient and more invested if they were more invested and spent more time with you they may have actually found out the truth if they took a different approach to the whole situation they regret the approach they took some of them definitely there was a third party they may have been uh, going back and forth between two people possibly uh, because of that because they don't want to commit they don't want to get emotionally invested right in any one person because they fear commitment <laughs> all right last card there we go yeah so this person definitely is focusing a lot on you and um, but yeah there's a lot of stuff in the way a lot of debris um, they may be they may have trouble focusing sometimes because of it like you can see this leopard uh, the snow's coming down and you can barely see the leopard for the snow so this person really does need to focus and just leave them alone so that they can focus and once this snow stops i feel like this person will come in so yeah they do lose focus easy they do they need to keep their life in balance as well they really do because i feel they're very busy so whatever it is they do uh, for some of them this isn't for everybody all right one more card i feel like you're very focused on this person but i feel like you need to just step back yeah just this person has things they need to release you may hear from this person come fall when the leaves fall you may hear from this person but they have things they need to release and they need to do it slowly okay and so they need a little bit of time to do that so that's nice some of you are just going to release this person let it go leave them to their thoughts their solitude so they can sort this out because if they do come towards you you want them awakened you want them healed you want this rebirth right you want this brand new person something needs to end and transform here this person's very much trapped in, in negative energy negative thinking 
So, okay. Take care, everybody. I wish you the best, and bye for now.